Hey everybody, it's me. I'm in my golf cart in Costa Rica. I was doing a class, an evening class, an evening taster last night at the Choice of Possibilities here that we're doing in Costa Rica. And one of the things that came up with the people there was, if you were truly living your life and creating it as you desire it, what percentage of it would you allow to be inspirational to you? What do you mean inspirational? Well, for me, like I see a beautiful sunrise and I get inspired. It's like, it's like you can feel your molecules come more alive. There's this thrum that starts in your body and in your life. And I realize that most of us don't look for that. We don't look for where that can show up in our daily lives. You know, like if you're on your way to work and you see a beautiful flower, it's like that can be an inspiration. If you're, you know, with somebody that you care about and they say something that touches you really deeply, that can be an inspiration. So what percentage of your life would you allow to be inspirational to you if you were truly creating your life from your point of view? Everything that doesn't allow it, we destroy and create it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pot, called nine shorts, boys and beyonds. There's this beautiful volcano here. It's called Aranol. And every morning I wake up and the volcano is there. It's got clouds around it, but it's showing itself and it inspires me. It's like the beauty of nature is inspirational. The beauty of people can be inspirational. The kindness of people can be inspirational. So I'm going to give you a little bit of home play if you're willing to do it. Think back to the past 10 days or so. Write down everything in your life that's been inspirational. Maybe you read something in the news that instead of depressing you, inspired you. Maybe you heard about these kids who are, who are stepping up and becoming statesmen around the United States that are creating rallies and different things because they want to change conditions that are going on in the world. That inspires me. And so look back over the last 10 days, write down anything that's inspired you. And for the next 10 days after this video, just get a note on your phone called inspirations and write down anything that inspires you. And when you need a little pick me up, go back and look at it and realize that oftentimes it's not the things that you thought it was going to be that are the inspiration for you. It's things that just touch your soul, that touch your being in a different way. And how much more fun could we have if we started acknowledging that? Let's do this thing. We're on an inspiration hunt. Yes. See these guys? Inspirational. They're so beautiful. Ginger plant. Beautiful. I mean, the colored leaves. Mm. It's so amazing. It's like, it doesn't even have flowers and it's so beautiful. And inspirational. Hey. We're on a journey of inspiration. We're going. Look at how beautiful it is. It's kind of, it's like it's sitting there going, hi, hi. There's an energy exchange where when you acknowledge the beauty of something, it gifts to that thing, but it also gifts to you. That's the inspiration I'm talking about. And you know what? It's all around our world. I don't care if you live in a city. I don't care if you live in the country. It's like, it's everywhere. We just have to be willing to look for it. So that's been a tiny journey of inspiration on a four minute cart ride. Uh, but I just wanted to show you just a few of the things that are possible and available. What else can you find in your world? What else can you find, you know, as you're on the way to work or when you're out with your kids or when you're hanging out with your friends or when you're drinking with your friends or whatever it is that you do. And you know what? Send me an email. Send me what's inspirational to you. I love to see it. Somebody going way faster than, apparently somebody speed limited my golf cart. That's all I'm saying, because she went by a lot faster than I can. Inspiration. Now I have something to shoot for. <laughs> See you soon. Sorry, that one got me. <laughs> Bye.